Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the tech news for Black Friday, November 27th, 2015 and today in the news as we, we just go back a little bit. Here goes Remote Play. Uh, this is a feature from uh, that PlayStation 4 can use and it's the ability to use uh, another device and through the network uh, play your favorite games via remote play well apparently it's coming to a PC near you as a uh, Windows and Mac uh, version of remote play will be available so it means that if you're a PlayStation 4 fan you'll be able to use your favorite computer to uh, remote play any games that you have on the PlayStation and I think it's a little bit of a response to the fact that um, Microsoft with Xbox one has enabled you know uh, the streaming of games through your Windows 10 computers uh, from your Xbox One, which is um, kind of a, a bit of a, the same feature here. So that I think is kind of a response and you know shows that probably there's some demand for that type of uh, uh, gameplay. So uh, remote play for PlayStation 4 on PCs and Mac coming to a computer near you pretty soon. Black Friday. Well, of course, today's Black Friday and, you know, we all have this story in the news that we hear every year of this guy shooting someone else or girl going crazy and, you know, I just look at that and I'm just wondering, uh, you know, get a life. I don't know. It's just so crazy when I see these things happen. Um, but, you know, I, I, I go through the um, different websites of uh, online stores and uh, of course every online store has, has deals you know but uh, overall you know you got to be careful because overall a lot of the deals aren't real deals uh, or just you know cheap stuff I was looking at um, here in Canada the source with a HP uh, laptop for $289 and I was looking at it and I was like man that's like the cheapest stuff around and uh, you know, uh, yeah, it's a computer for 289, but come on, uh, it's kind of a little cheap, and I think it's not going to be that very good at performance level. But at least you know, some people will jump on the occasion for sure. Uh, there are a few things that are interesting. I did see on Amazon there's a 20,000 milliamp hour charging block uh, that you can buy for $19, which is very very nice. Nineteen dollars and man, twenty thousand milliamp hour. That's a lot of power for your lap, you know, tablets and your uh, smartphones. Just put that in your pocket, in your shirt pocket, or you know, in the jacket, and you got power for uh, many days, basically. Uh, so nineteen bucks, that's not too bad, you know. There's a few things, a lot of uh, deals with bundles of uh, Xbox. Uh, funny because I've seen more Xbox bundles than I've seen. PlayStation bundles, uh, but I'm sure there must be some PlayStation bundles also. Uh, but a lot of people jumping also on the fact of the Fallout 4 game with the Xbox. And apart from that, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of little deals on tablets and stuff. Even the uh, stores like uh, iOS Store, the um, Microsoft Store for apps, uh, add a lot of deals. Uh, I was um, listening to Paul Tarot mentioning that there's even deals for uh, um, when you rent movies on the uh, Microsoft uh, Movies and TV app or Film and TV app. Um, uh, there are some movies that you can rent for n as low as 99 cents, which is nice. You can actually rent a 99 cents movie that would cost you, for, you know, six or seven dollars uh, anywhere else. So these are nice options and nice little things to check for. Uh, that's uh, that's for sure. So uh, you know, whatever you're fancy, check it out. And a lot of these um, deals will uh, last for many days. Uh, I've seen that many many websites uh, say, well, it's not just for Black Friday. A lot of the uh, you know specials are up to uh, the end of next week. Some up to December first. So, you know, if you don't do it today, just take it easy, relax, and, you know, shop online this weekend. Check out the deals. A lot of them are still going to be there this weekend. So it's uh, something to check for. And, uh, you know, don't go crazy. It's just Black Friday. 
And uh, since there's not a lot of news, you know, with Thanksgiving for the United States, um, and happy Thanksgiving to everyone, by the way, uh, and uh, Black Friday, uh, it's kind of um, some, you know, very, very quiet moment in the news for technology. I was thinking of uh, talking a little bit about the future of Windows 10 from now, as we just had our, um, you know, November update which is which was you know a pretty big update even though on the surface people did not see a lot of changes uh, it is a pretty big update uh, it does change a lot of things in Windows 10 a lot of settings a lot of, uh, of also you know apps have been updated there's also a lot of bug fixes and uh, stability fixes so you know it, it does bring a lot of changes to Windows 10 and of course changes in the version number to 1511 uh, what you know? What from now? What can we expect in Windows 10? Well, first, there's the um, insiders. If you're an insider for Windows 10, presently we all have the same version of Windows 10. Um, you know, expect an insider preview to uh, come in pretty soon. I would you know expect in the next week or two. We uh, probably should get some uh, some updates here. Um, we know that from Microsoft apparently um, if you're an insider before the end of the year we should get our first look at the uh, Edge browser with extensions that's going to be interesting to look at and of course uh, check your insider machines regularly and of course follow us here on the channel as we will post as soon as the insider previews are available and uh, for sure so if you're an insider of course that continues if you're a regular Windows 10 user, or, you know, no insiders, no nothing, what's uh, to expect in the future for you? Well, of course, there will be um, cumulative updates that, you know, they, they, they're there and they update a lot of stuff. It's very surprising. Windows 10, even though we don't have, you know, big, big updates scheduled for right now, and uh, at least before the uh, middle of 2016, um, it's surprising the number of features that are changed and the number of apps that are updated in between, you know, and the cumulative updates that really add features to Windows 10 as long as, you know, not just security stuff and uh, also uh, any, you know, bug fixes. So even though the big, big update Redstone will be at least mid-2016 and there's talk that it might be even the fall, you will have, you know, here and there little changes, little things that are going to be updated here and there, as Windows 10 is updated all the time, not just with big, big updates. So that's one thing to check for. Um, of course, the big thing that will be to check for um, is Redstone. Um, you know, don't forget that the first six months of uh, six or seven months of 2016 are the time that's going to be left for the free upgrades. You know, I would expect the pace of upgrade to Windows 10 to actually quicken um, in 2016 because a lot of people haven't jumped on the Windows 10 operating system now, but they'll think about it and they'll say, well, it's my last chance to get it free. So, um, you know, a lot of people are going to want to upgrade at some point in 2016. And, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised that there will be more than 200 to 300 million by the end of 2016 to be on Windows 10, which will be very nice. Um, you know, if we look at Windows 7, which is probably the operating system where people are the less um, enthusiastic of going to Windows 10, uh, one thing for sure is that uh, we did see that the Windows 7, um, you know, market share, which was at almost 52 percent at the beginning of uh, 2015 is starting to dwindle so we're now at you know 49 dot something so it shows that there is an adoption rate to Windows 10 that is starting on Windows 7 machines I think some Windows 7 mm, users uh, more than we might even think will jump on Windows 10 before the July deadline of uh, free adoption because they'll know that it's now or never and um, there's of course going to be the die-hard Windows 7 users that will stay on Windows 7 you know till it's not 
uh, supported anymore somewhere in 2022, I believe. So, you know, um, adoption rate is going to be there. Of course, Redstone, which is going to be a very, very big update, and that's going to have a lot of features that are going to change and new stuff happening on your Windows machine. Uh, that's going to be closer to like a new Windows, basically. Coming um, anywhere in the second half of 2016, that update probably will come through Windows Update in the same manner that we just had our November updates. Um, promises a lot of features, a lot of new stuff in Windows 10. It is going to be probably the thing to look at next year in Windows 10. And uh, of course, it's going to be free for everyone. And um, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, you know, a lot of people were thinking maybe that's going to push us to Windows 10.1. Well, with the new numbering version of um, the November update, which gives us a version 15.11, I think that's the way they're going to continue with Redstone. We're going to stay at Windows 10, but the update's going to be, you know, whatever version, whatever month, because the version number follows the month and year. So uh, version 15.11 is for, you know, 2015, the 11th month, November. So uh, it's going to be something like, you know, version 16, whatever the month. Um, you know, at first was June, but now we're thinking more in the fall. Shows you how big this is going to be as of an update for Windows 10. So uh, all of that, you know, slowly happening. And um, we'll just take our time and uh, examine what's to come in uh, Windows 10. So that was the tech news for Black Friday, November 27, 2015. If you enjoy our videos, want to subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online, and we typically post tons of videos every day. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. will help us in the ratings on YouTube. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything you want to know, let us know, and we'll try to, of course, uh, help you and maybe make a video. Thank you so much for following us. This is what makes all this worthwhile. Um, it's really, really fun to have you guys and girls watching and commenting and being there.